Genophobian. It's, uh, it's a name that has been known worldwide, probably better overseas than in New Zealand. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know about worldwide, but yeah, maybe a few more people overseas as opposed to home might, have, uh, might know me in the fighting circles. And, and where was home? Where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, so uh, from Auckland, uh, originally West Auckland, Tianzhou, um, and then uh, uh, Central Auckland, but all over really. Yeah. <laughs> And you started off as, a, a, as an athlete, a good runner and a good uh, triple jump. You won the, won the national titles. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that was my base from when I was six years old, uh, track and field. Uh, in my events were 100, 200 triple jump and, and did pretty well at those throughout the age groups and throughout the years growing up. And uh, yeah, yeah, won the nationals as a junior and uh, went overseas, represented New Zealand as a junior. So yeah, that was my base. And what made you switch to martial arts? Um, I think, oh man, uh, I just started training in Thailand uh, initially, uh, Muay Thai, and caught the bug over the years and fell in love with it. Progressed from you know fitness and training um, to really, really, really started to involve myself and love the, the martial art itself. And then it grew from there, and then the fighting bug grew from there, which, which wasn't expected or planned, but happened. <laughs> And, and you ended up being pretty good at it because you've got a WMC middleweight title to your, to your credit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for so many years, uh, trained Muay Thai, focused on Muay Thai. And then uh, it was funny, I, I started uh, progressing to MMA. And then it wasn't until... Um, so I, I didn't think I'd, I'd fight Muay Thai again. And then uh, I got an opportunity to uh, have a couple more fights in Muay Thai. And then one of them being that WMC world title, which meant the world to me because it, it took me back to why I started fighting to be a world champion in Muay Thai and, and yeah that was huge for me. And recently, uh, since then, you've been uh, contracted as an MMA fighter to, to the PFL and and you had a little bit of bad luck. You, your last fight you had to pull out, you had trouble with the weight cut. Yeah, yeah, so I got contracted to the PFL for my first season last year, which was uh, an amazing promotion, amazing uh, year with them, uh, and unfortunately suffered uh, some weight cut issues in my uh, third fight with them. Uh, so I made it to the semi-finals. It's a playoff style tournament uh, for a million dollars. So it was huge, and, and, and I uh, yeah, made it to the semis, and unfortunately, right in the, literally, the last hour, um, got sent to hospital, uh, just with some weight cut issues. My, my body wasn't uh, reacting well, and uh, it shut down, and so we had tried everything to that point to make it, and it um, wasn't my choice, but it was the right choice in hindsight at the time, because uh, a lot of effects on my body um, that it would have had even more so had we just tried to it tough it out now, yeah, now yeah. You so you, you come back to New Zealand and you but you're still contracted to PFL yeah. yep so um, it's my second season second year coming up with them for 2020 and um, and uh, yeah now I can be home and based out of home and train uh, here out of CKB um, and uh, they can fly me out um, to the cards so yeah, myself and also our teammate BJ Bland, oh, wow. who uh, just got announced that he'll also be part of the uh, the Million Dollar Tournament for the lightweight men. So we'll both be coming, flying from home, and representing the gym. And you've got a little bit of a dispensation that doesn't happen very often. You're allowed to actually have a fight in New Zealand to get you ready, and yeah. that that's the Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, thankfully, um, ours, uh to a certain date before March 30th, I was allowed to compete and um, uh, in a, uh, have another fight uh, as long as it wasn't uh, MMA. Um, so really cool that the PFL have allowed me to do that. And man, I'm really excited that I get to finally be able to say I can fight at home. And yeah, it's huge. It's huge for me. Yeah, and you're up against Sarah Long. Do you know anything about Sarah? Yeah, she's a tough girl. Um, uh, boxer style, you know, quite. Quite brawly, and, I, and she's fought a couple of girls that I train with here at CKB. Tough girls, so I know what she's going to bring. Like I know she's she's hearty and tough, and and good eyes, good boxing. So um, I'm excited to to 
go up against her. Like I said, a couple of my teammates here at CKB have fought her, so um, I know I, I've gotten a feel for um, you know what the level of what like uh, you know she'll be bringing. So I'm excited. Be good. Well, we're excited to be able to see you at home, finally. Yeah, yeah, man, so am I, so am I. It means, it's funny, like, a couple of people said, oh, it's a warm-up fight, it's definitely not a warm-up fight, this girl's tough, and, um, and you know, she's, she's a big, strong girl, and with um, good, good, good eyes, good boxing, like I mentioned, um, but it means so much, because it's a, finally in front of, like, people, I, you know, friends and family that I've never had the opportunity to do. I've always had my corner or my team, but it's like, you know, you're close, Three, three people at most, um, but now I have like, you know, real friends and family like actually in the crowd, and and in front of uh, like other Kiwis. So it's it's all that's a new experience for me, which is crazy to say. Yeah, like because I've been fighting for some years now. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, Combat TV will be there to take all the action awesome. in, and uh, we'll be able to show you what you did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cool. Hey, thanks very much for, uh, for talking to us. Oh, Dana. my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.